I am back going for a look at that the stone cottage that I visited before. I've walked on the outside. I'll post a link there to go and see that video. So I'm back, it should be open today. So we should be able to look inside and see. Bit of that. So let's get some. The stone cottage was built in Mount Wellington in the 1850s and it was moved out to this era, I believe, in the 1970s. Now it's open to the public once a month. On the inside, the gardens are always free to look out on the outside. Again, yeah, it's opened. Oh, I like those rooms from here. Right. I'll put mine my head and I can see more of them. Looking down at the gardens we're looking at that time, and they'll pop across there. Look how low these doors were back then. Go to this way. Uh, so if you want to come on here on the second Sunday of every month, gold coin donation. So the, um, the cottage was brought to the spot on Mount Wellington, Pam Ewer, in the 72. Yeah, that was remarked each brick, I've just been told, with a number, so they could put it back in the exact same order as it is right there. And from there it's just become an open day once a month. Well, like, that's like 40 years now, isn't it? Yeah, 40 years. Over 40 years. So that's quite a bit of history. Um, and I love history. History is great, especially... One of my pet hates is people who talk about people in England and other countries say, oh, we've got such a long history. These countries say this is history for them. It's not that long. Say, oh, this house is only 106 years old, but history has got to start from somewhere. History has got to start from somewhere, and so I'm proud of the history of it. Whether other people think it's not that great or not, 